Rafa was once Gaza's refuge, the safest place in a dangerous war. Today, the city's west and centre was emptying. Those still sheltering here, fleeing again amid airstrikes and artillery fire, taking whatever they need to survive, whatever they can't leave behind. There's been no evacuation order from Israel's army, and for many, no sense of where to go. I'm just walking in the street. I don't know where to go. There is nowhere safe. Where should we go? This is not a lie. This is not a lie. They were packing up too in the displacement camp at Tel Asultan to the west of the city. Still scarred by fires, triggered in an Israeli airstrike on Sunday. Dozens dead, survivors spent. There's more than one way to lose a life. Israel says its operation in Rafa is key to defeating Hamas, and that Sunday's strike on Hamas commanders in the camp was carried out with precise munitions that would not, by themselves, have caused so many deaths. We're talking about munition with 17 kilos of explosive material. This is the smallest munition that our jets can use. Following this strike, a large fire ignited for reasons that are still being investigated. Our munition alone could not have ignited a fire of this size. While people fled today, Gaza's health ministry said more than 20 were killed in fresh airstrikes to the west, over half of them women. As far beyond these borders, three European nations officially recognize a Palestinian state. And Gaza's last urban center begins to fall under Israeli control. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Jerusalem.